Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Looking to Bitcoin, and today I'll be doing a Bitcoin roundup to discuss the current market conditions. We're going to try gain some insight on Bitcoin's recent choppy price action and how we should potentially be positioning ourselves going forward. We'll be using a number of resources all freely available on lookingtobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So right now we're just on the Bitcoin weekly chart here. And I'll turn on this line, which indicates the previous all-time high we had in 2017. It just beneath $20,000. And if we just drop down onto the daily chart, we can see the past few weeks, nothing has really happened. We've been chopping around twenty dollars to $22,000-ish. And even if you're on social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Facebook, it's going to seem like every up move is the start of the new bull market and every down move is the start of an even new lower low in price action. But realistically, you just need to take a simplistic view at this and say in the past two months nearly, we haven't really moved a lot. We don't need to overreact. We don't need to make it any more complex than it is. Bitcoin isn't doing a lot right now. We can see there are potentially areas where we've made higher lows as Bitcoin has slowly crept up in price and slightly higher highs. But to be honest, until we actually break out of this range of twenty-two dollars to $23,000 or break beneath, until we convincingly go either way, I'm not putting too much emphasis on current price action. It's simply not really doing anything interesting. So if we go into some look into Bitcoin charts, we can maybe try and get a little bit more insight into where we currently are in the market cycle. So if we look at the fear and greed index. We actually have recently had the longest period of extreme fear we've ever had, according to the fear and greed index. So the previous few weeks, we had a period of extreme fear, and this hasn't happened before. If we scroll down recently, we have actually come out of this slightly. We're now in just a period of fear in the market. But every time this has happened historically, where we've had these long extended areas of extreme fear, and then just come out of it like we did in 2018, 2019 here, and after the COVID 2020 crash, and even more recently after the first drop off we had from above $60,000 to around $30,000, we had these long periods of extreme fear. In each of these circumstances, once Bitcoin had actually left the period of extreme fear in the market, Bitcoin's price action actually reacted fairly positively. So we'll just have to wait and see if that's the case this time. We can also see the Bitcoin wallets is quite an interesting one. We did cover this in our last market roundup, but the trend hasn't changed. And it's quite a surprising trend if you're, again, in any social media platforms and everyone's very bearish at the minute, not just in cryptocurrencies, but just in general investing. We can see that over the past few weeks and months, the amount of wallets holding at least one Bitcoin has absolutely skyrocketed. It seems a lot of retail interest, a lot of people trying to stack sats and gain their first coin have not been phased by this recent dip in price. And the number of wallets containing one Bitcoin has gone absolutely parabolic and has reached new all time highs. So potentially people are taking advantage of what some may consider a discount in Bitcoin's price action. These strategic investors are trying to position themselves for the upcoming cycle. Again, this is one where we'll have to wait and see, but a lot of people are seemingly taking advantage of the current situation. Next, if we go into the 200 week moving average heat map, we can actually see we are beneath the 200 week moving average. And if we look at previous instances where this has happened and we've actually had one of these heat map dots beneath the 200 week moving average, historically, this has only happened twice. So in 2015, we had one dip beneath and one dot beneath the 200 week moving average. And same again for the COVID 2020 crash. We may have had a few days or weeks either side of this dot being printed beneath the 200 week moving average. But if we look to where we currently are now, we'll see we've had our previous dot beneath the moving average. And as I film this tomorrow, we'll get a new heat map dot. And this could potentially be again beneath the 200 week moving average, which would be the first time that has ever happened. So we'll have to wait and see. The 200 week moving average currently sits at just about $22,750. So if price can regain that by this time tomorrow, then we'll print a moving average heat map dot just above the 200 week. But again, we'll have to wait and see. So just to summarize, there's been a lot of choppy price action recently. The markets remain uncertain. 
and realistically you shouldn't be putting too much emphasis on current price action when it's really unclear what is coming next there's no obvious trend to either direction so really until we continue moving sideways you shouldn't be focusing every single day every single hour on price action worrying if it's going to go up or down really we need to wait for a more convincing break to either side we have also seen the longest period of extreme fear in the bitcoin market come to an end this extreme fear this extreme retail sentiment of bearishness in the market so now that that has ended potentially and historically this has been a good sign as people gain a little bit more confidence in the asset class so again we'll have to wait and see if that plays out we're also currently beneath the 200 week moving average now this isn't out of the order and we have historically had a few days and weeks beneath the 200 week moving average and we've actually recently reclaimed it and dipped beneath it again so it is definitely an area of interest for a lot of traders and investors but we do have the possibility of printing the second consecutive heat map dot beneath the 200 week moving average which has never happened before so we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out too but ultimately global fundamental factors are still having a large influence on not only the cryptocurrency and bitcoin market but all markets in general a lot of talk about interest rates recessions economic downturns etc is all giving investors and general traders mixed signals of is the upcoming weeks months and years going to be more bearish are we going to see more downside across all asset classes or are we talking about bottoming out and soon prices are going to start rising again ultimately no one knows everyone can have their best guess but it doesn't really matter until it's made obvious if we are continuing to the downside or we have potentially entered a new cycle regardless though we are seeing a lot of investors completely disregarding current sentiment and continuing to stack sats as we saw by the amount of wallets holding at least one bitcoin which not only has hit new all-time highs but continues to increase at a substantial rate if you like this video then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where you can also consider becoming a site subscriber to gain access to live chats in-depth newsletters indicator alerts private trading view scripts and more all for a fraction of the standard industry price also let me know your thoughts on the market do you think bitcoin is up for potentially a new bull cycle starting do you think we've already bottomed in price or do you think there is more downside to come do you think ultimately we are going to make even lower lows i look forward to reading your comments and replying down below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one